Let's look at how we add sign numbers when the first number is positive. And the rule that we're going to use is that adding a negative is exactly the same thing as subtracting a positive. In other words, if I take some number, let's call it A, and I add a negative, let's call it B, doesn't matter if I have parentheses or not, that is the exact same thing, so it equals the same thing if I were to simply say A minus B. Now, if you don't like those numbers, let's do it with, or don't like those letters, sorry, let's do it with some numbers. Let's say I took 8 plus negative 4, and what this rule says is 8 plus negative 4 is no different than 8 minus 4. And I don't know about you, but to me 8 minus 4 is a lot easier to figure out than 8 plus negative 4. And so even though we obviously should already know the answer to 8 minus 4, let's see how this works on a number line. So when you add or subtract numbers, you start with the first number. So we start here at 8. And subtraction means to take away or to go left. So we're going to go this way. And we're going to go that way 4. So we're going to subtract 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4. And just like we should have already known, the difference between 8 and 4 is, of course, Four. Let's try another problem. Let's take 5 and add it to a negative 8. Okay, and so like I said before in this video we're focusing on adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So 5 plus negative 8 means 5 minus 8. Well at this point you might be tempted to say that the answer is 3 because we have an 8, we have a 5, we subtract them. The problem is, with subtraction, order matters. Let's do this one again on the number line. Here we are starting at the number 5. Again, we always start at our first number, right? And again, we are subtracting, or going to the left, 8. So we're going to subtract 8. So we count to the left 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight. Well, this time, by going to the left eight, that took us all the way to the negative side of the number line. And so five minus eight is negative three. And so one way to look at this is to notice that, of course, adding a negative is subtracting. And when I am subtracting, when the bigger number is first, like 10 minus 3, it's subtraction just like it always has been since, I don't know, what, second grade. But if the smaller number comes first and I subtract a bigger number like I am here with 5 minus 8, my answer will be negative. And that's the first very important lesson in adding and subtracting sign numbers. So let's try, say, maybe four quick examples and see if you can catch them. If you can't, maybe try to watch the video again or uh, get some extra help from a tutor. But let's try some real quick. Let's try 15 plus negative 6. Uh, let's also try 20 plus negative 25. Let's try, here, equals. Let's try 100 plus negative 150. And let's try 0 plus negative 10. Okay. If you have to, pause to work these out. But you should be able to do these pretty quickly. 15 plus negative 16 is really 15 minus 6, which of course is just 9. 20 plus negative 25, well now we have the smaller number first and we're subtracting 25, so that gives us a negative 5. I'm going to write underneath here. 100 plus negative 150, well this is just like the last one, 
and we get a negative 50, and 0 plus negative 10. Well now the only difference is we're starting at 0. We go backwards 10 and we end up with negative 10.